as you can see, I've made a little progress. We've got the corners on the rear, the roll pan underneath, and access to the trailer hitch. Because whenever we do this drag and drive, we'll probably be pulling a trailer. And uh, the tailgate, or the hatch, we've got it functioning. Uh, and some of the sheet metal on the rear. And like I planned, I'm a, I've got a seam which mimics double doors. And I'll put a couple of handles here for looks to make it look like double doors. So it's, uh, once this part is done, then I can do the, a lot of the flat panels, pretty much all the flat panels, and then we'll do the roof. So it's going to be soon. The other thing I've done since the last video is I finished the front end. And I've got the headlights placed, park and turn signals, and the grill which wasn't in before. So it's uh, starting to shape up. I made a... basically... a U-shaped bracket which allows me to turn the headlight and adjust it like an eyeball. Because it's, it's coming together like I imagined. And, um, you know, obviously a lot of it is, is visual. Uh, to get the flow and, and balance. Not look stupid in any way. That's kind of my specialty. <laughs> Makes make it look like it belongs. Now I've got a sample of you know, something I started. Oh yeah. You take a piece of black sheet metal. This is not a real good example, but it's an example. So you take a flat piece of sheet metal and you put your curve in it. That's the curve. And then you put, in this case, it's got a, a, a stamped shelf or a lip for the other piece to come down on. But once you get this shape, and, and in this case with 20 gauge, I can go like that and make it a little tighter with your hands. But then when it comes to rolling this edge, to get that to roll and not distort this, you got to pinch it or shrink it in the shrinker and shrink and shrink and shrink and it'll start doing this. Then you take it and you put it in the wheel with a roller, like this shape or maybe bigger, depending on the curve. And then you gotta roll it in to make it smooth. In some cases, like this tight curve here, the way you get that is you take this machine and you have a flat roller here, and then you have a small bladed tool on that top, and you roll that like this, and as you roll it, you hold it up and kind of flex it in, and then you can get a lift like that that you normally couldn't get on um, in any other way. Because once you start bending this, it's going to flatten the metal out, like in a uh, flat um, bending machine. So to get that, that's the only way you can do that. I'll I'll make a better piece, for example, when we do the other video on how those are made.